More than a march. With the 50th anniversary of Bloody Sunday this weekend, leaders in Fort Wayne organized a local event to remind people how one small silly city in Alabama helped change the shape of the entire country. Rochelle Spence joins us now with more on the community initiative. Rochelle? Well, Rachel, hundreds of people came together less than two hours ago for this march in downtown Fort Wayne. Leaders say it was a way to honor the Selma to Montgomery march led by Martin Luther King Jr., where 600 marchers were attacked by police using clubs and tear gas. Pace for pace and arm in arm, people remembered the historic day by meeting on the bridge on East State Boulevard near Northside High School, walking over the Martin Luther King Jr. Bridge and ending at Fryman Square. Joining them was six-time Olympic medalist Jackie Joyner Kersey, who was also named the greatest female athlete of the 20th century by Sports Illustrated. While the violence which erupted 50 years ago is a painful memory to most, local leaders believe that understanding and commemorating leads to growth and change. It's important that we commemorate uh, the walk that took place 50 years ago, and it just so happens that we're going to be walking over a bridge named after Martin Luther King, and uh, it's important that we not forget. Historically, the uh, minority community and the police department has clashed, and that was 50 years ago was uh, a brutal clash, but now we're coming here to show solidarity. This is a different day, different age. And Rochelle, usually we see these marches as a protest against something, but today this was really a march for something. Exactly. They wanted to show that the city is not only diverse, but it's very inclusive. And just a side note, I mean, the leaders I spoke with were so happy with the turnout because let's be honest, it's not the sunniest, warmest day. So for people to still get out there and, and to honor that original march was something special. It is. All right. Thanks, Rochelle.